Good morning, YouTube. What I have here is my dad's 1950, early 60-ish Van de Graaff generator. Um, I inherited it. God rest his soul. He won the national second place science fair with the same unit uh, different motor this is the old motor start winding is gone on this motor still works it just you have to give it a start yourself but the way it's set up now is a little bit safer so stainless steel screen for the sprayer two inch sixteenth thick polyurethane belt from McMaster Carr as a I believe to be nylon roller at least it seems like nylon hammered on to a three-quarter on one side five-eighths on the other pillow block bearing Half inch drive motor, A belt pulley. Not sure how many inches that is. Another A belt pulley. Three inch PVC. A special clamp with two bolts on each side holding the pipe. power cord all wood another stainless steel screen you can see I've scratched the belt a few times it's a 5 8 shaft there's a bearing on the inside. A couple shaft collars. One and two. I drilled some holes into the pipe itself to be able to secure the screen. Screen's about yay apart from it. And a big aluminum ball. Rounded in edges. Pretty sure it's glued together. Sits right on top with a friction fit. And it produces some mean sparks. Please excuse my garage. I like to turn it on with a rubber mallet because this thing produces some really long sparks now. You can hear it popping.
actually quite scared of it. I'd say it's about 12 inches. Stronger sparks up close to it. I've actually seen the sparks ground out to the motor when you're not using it. Or not touching it, I mean. Much cooler at night. Still pretty cool during the day. There she goes. Pretty cool stuff. I believe that top roller is made out of uh, phenolic resin. Not entirely sure. Almost like Bakelite. Thanks for watching.